jungle. Hi everyone. So before this tutorial begin, I just want to say that I'm from Vietnam. My voice, my pronunciation or my accent gonna be a little bit weird. So if you guys have any questions, you guys can join my Discord server so that I could share screen to help you guys if you want. And yeah, this is my first day. I'm too lazy to make a script, something like that. So hopefully I don't need to record this one once again. So here in RBR Reflex, we're gonna create a new composition um, using after effects cc 2019 but my project file is for cc 14 so yes you guys could download it if you way too lazy to watch the whole thing so i'm gonna set the duration to three seconds the frame rate is 30 and now i'm need to drag the clip down but before that i need to choose the path that i wanted to use so here we are already here so just click on this button to set the in boy to this and now when you drag it the beginning of the composition gonna be the in boy that's with the choose so we're gonna have something like this all right so i have two black bar on the top and the bottom so i'm gonna scale it up a little bit and here we go so now we're gonna pre-compose this one you must show the second op option and yeah so there's one problem here is a clip is 60 fps and my composition is only 30 fps because i don't i just wanted to make a 30 fps edit so now you need to go to the composition you're gonna change the frame rate to 30 so that we could use a roto brush and yeah so now we're gonna choose roto brush tool over here double click on the clip and we're gonna start roto brush so i think that i shouldn't speed up the whole process because i think roto brush is pretty easy i think it just take a lot of time so also you make you need to make sure that the time marker is in the beginning of the clip do it very quick Yeah, this one looking good now we're gonna click on 3d and let it rendering so when it's done it's gonna be looking like this so we need to change the feather about 50 or 15 and also i'm gonna using key cleaner to make the roto brush looking better I think I'm gonna keep the setting. Uh, it's gonna be sharpen the edges and remove the white part too. So there, it's looking better. So now we're gonna duplicate the first layer and we're gonna rename the bottom layer background. We're gonna delete all the effects. So it's gonna be looking like this. So as you can see on the video that I saw on the intro, I'm gonna making the fade transition for the background layers so i'm using sapphire plugin so if you guys want the download link you can join my discord server i leave all the download link on my discord server because i couldn't upload it on youtube uh, i'm gonna be get copyrighted you know all right so when you apply this effect into adobe Arrayface, you're gonna um, make the keyframes on the beginnings and click on U to show the keyframes and you're gonna drag it maybe on the middle of the clip you're gonna set it to 100 so before we go to to change the graph I'm gonna change the edge softness a little bit as you can see it's gonna be look a little bit blur like this and also change the frequency too so now we're gonna click on this to select all the keyframe click apply and here i'm, I'm gonna using speed graph so that's grab this grab this and yeah that's how i make the fade effect 
and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the and now we're gonna make the uh, Polaroid effects so first of all I drag the Polaroid image it down I don't know how to spell it hopefully <laughs> I do it right so yeah just scale it down I wanna solo it that I could see it better and a tip too so I wanna rotate it scale it down and I wanna put it up just like this Alright, so as you can see the color of this, I'm gonna call this picture frame. So this one need a little bit, this one is a little bit orange and yellow, and the tip is white. So I'm gonna using a effect name CC Tuner. And yeah, look at the tip. It's gonna be turning a little bit white. And yeah, you can change the color in this one, but I think this one is already good anything else so now once we've done this we're gonna pre-compose this one i'm gonna call this one picture frame and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the clip and choose some of the bar to do ignite to add it clip a little bit short <laughs> import the other another clip in my piece all right, I'm just import a new clip to select the scene, and yeah, as you can get the raw clip on my project file if you want. So I'm gonna do it very quick. So once you trim the layers by using this one, the drag it down, and it's gonna be looking like this. So before we scale and align the videos, you're gonna click on time and go click on freezy frames. Then gonna scale it down, position a little bit. All right, and then we're gonna using max. Just like this. So now we have this. So before we pre-compose this one, you need to duplicate picture frames and just pre-compose two of this one. All right. video that is saw in the beginning is a little bit short but now we need to chop all of these things that we just did and we need to stick it into the character so now I'm gonna using motion chalking here in the chalker tab if you cannot see it you can turn it on here so I'm gonna select the second clip and we'll uh, click on chalk motion but before that we need to create a louis near so as you can see here we have four different things should i click on the one two the four different picture frames so you need to create four louis to uh, stick that into the character so one two three four all right so after doing this we're gonna click on the clips and click on chart motion so on the chop motion tab we're gonna choose the part that you wanted to stick it in so here i'm gonna choose this part do it and then click on this button so that it's gonna be automatically do the rest <laughs> my pc is so bad i'm sorry So here we are is yes, after when we talk it's gonna be have something like this so we're gonna click on edit talk this and we're gonna choose the foot Louis 
So just click on it and click on apply. So for the dimension, you're gonna see like X and Y dimension. So yeah, so everything gonna be applied into this layer. Now you need to do the same thing with the breads. And here I'm gonna I'm not gonna skip that, but I'm gonna speed it up. doing we're gonna track this one we're gonna stick it into the character I wanna do it so for the first one I wanna click on the parent thing and do it into the put new then we're gonna change the scale it down because my PC is so bad I'm sorry so you need to know where is the foot Louis so it's over here so just click on that and it's gonna be showing up if you can't now see it you're gonna click on this one and I'm turning off slapping all right so let's stick it into the face give it a little bit of rotate keep more realistic So done with the first one. You can see it's looking pretty well. Now uh, you need to do uh, the same thing with the second one. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make nice some of the we're gonna add turbulent display into this thing. It's pretty hard to explain, but I mean, I'm gonna make it uh, have some movement into that. It's gonna be looking more realistic. So we're gonna add into that. Zooming it up. Right, so here we are. It's looking a little bit too. And yeah. If you wanted to see that if it's good or not, just check the resolution, uh, the evolution. Turning up, up. Okay. I, I don't know where. Yeah, this one ain't looking good enough. Now for this one, we're gonna go into the evolution and we're gonna add click into that left click by the way. Then you're gonna change this one into times city. And it's gonna be like this. Some movement into that. It's very hard to recognize this, but better than not. All right. So you need to click on Kenton C. Select the effect. Kenton C. Edit this on the rest. All right. So. I'm gonna add some CC into it. I'm gonna make a little adjustment here. My own CC. If you want to make the CC, you can check my CC tutorial. It's a little bit laggy, I'm sorry. Turn. Turn. I'm gonna change the expo down to 0 0.3. Looking a little bit bright, actually. But we're not done yet, okay? We're gonna make more thing with this one later, but not now. So now we're gonna add side into this one to make it a bit better. So if you don't have chap code plugin, you can as always go to my Discord server and I wanna say it. So 
as you can see the cam size is pretty small so when we are what the fuck is that All right, the snare so the cam size very small so the side gonna be like have some cut then like this so we're gonna change the ray left into one so there i only need to make it looking like this and i'm just doing the same thing with this every single thing so we have the line something like this so now what we're gonna do let's see we're gonna make the blood reusal i might spell this one right anyway never mind <laughs> i'm sorry i'm gonna try to improve my english skill in the next video i hope so so yeah we're gonna drop this video this clip down as you can see it is a uh, blood and yeah we're gonna put that when the transition finishes we're gonna fit it we're gonna put it down but we're gonna make it forward about two or three frames so i wanna solo this one so for this one we're gonna using time renapping because i want the blood knife going fast at the beginning and it's getting slower and slower so as you can see at this scene the blood is still not coming down that so we're gonna change the time renap all right this see um all right and go from the ends it's still not much enough like this so when you have this you're gonna click on it to select all the keyframes click on apply and let's make it fast at the beginning so let's just this as always i um, prefer using speed wrap so yeah it's gonna be looking like this and you can see it fast at the beginning but slow at the end so now the cam size only 1280 by 720 so we're gonna scale it up and unsolo it so we're gonna cast something like this so yeah for the plot it's gonna be look a little bit bright but we're gonna we're gonna add more cc later so don't worry about that so now we once we have this we're gonna make the twist later so when we have this one we need to create more picture frame to make it drop down from the top but before that i'm gonna add the overlay this one is the file overlay yeah, it's looking pretty cool so i'm add it and then we're gonna scale it up and change the blending mode to screen it's gonna be looking like this so yeah we're gonna make the picture frames and i wanna this time we only need the polaroids it's so hard to anyway so you need to do something like this you're gonna go into the clip it's over here you're gonna choose some random clip don't know where choose very quickly so that you guys could know how to do it right, maybe this one this one looking good so like we do in the beginning just drop it down first of all we're gonna free the frame this change the position this one actually you need to scale it up a little bit all right so and then max it we don't need the tape now and we only need to do it like this so now we don't need to like duplicate this para polar zoys thing to just click on that click on pre-compose i'm gonna set this picture frame i don't know how to call it <laughs> and now on the project menu it does i go into the picture frame click Kenshin d and it's gonna be duplicate just like this so yeah that's delete the clip and chain it with the other one all right just something good to put it down the same day so you're gonna go into time 50 frame put it up click on end so i'm gonna using this one you can click q and that's doing the same thing 
now we're gonna doing the same thing with the rest of that i'm gonna skip it too all right so here i'm only create three picture frame composition because this tutorial is a little bit too long right now so there what we're gonna do let's see if we're gonna drop two of this one down too and we're gonna select like three of it turn on 3d turn on motion blur turn as well and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into click on s to make it scale down i want to select the whole thing and click s so that i could scale out the whole thing at the same time it's going to be much more convenient and we're going to drag all of it under the character nail with the clip one so it's going to be getting high so now i'm going to move it into uh, some of the random position so i'm going to cut it this one is a little bit complicated i don't think there's now my ink here we good enough to explain everything but hopefully you guys are gonna be understand it all right so do let's do that uh, some of the random random position and you're gonna change the rotation the eye rotation something like this y rotation something like this and now we're gonna make two keyframe on the x and y rotation and we're gonna put that almost at the beginning the end i'm oh, sorry the end clip and yeah just leave that we're gonna do something with that later but not now all right so go to the second layer we're gonna change that into 29 that maybe this one by rotation a little bit of skip the person all right so i just done doing the same thing with the rest of that and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select like all of the paranoids uh i'm gonna call the picture frame it's, it's way too hard to pronounce all right you're gonna make now uh, click i select like three of this click b and make position Make a frame on position we're gonna click the whole thing drag it up put it at the beginning then let's start out make it make it up a little bit all right now you need to select all the keyframe go into this make the graph it's like this let's make this parts in the beginning slow at the end this oh yeah now we're gonna click on r have the keyframes uh, we're gonna go into the beginning change all the thing into zero every single thing to zero For this one, I, I don't think that is need to like, change the the graph. I just wanna select the whole thing and click apply. All right, all right. Once you've done it, you're gonna have something coming out like this. It's so hard for me to click preview. gonna be like going down from the top just like this as you can see and you're gonna be slowly like the rotation value so what i'm gonna do in next e for the uh, we're gonna make the optical flare so let's click on the overlay layer we're not gonna doing anything with it but when you click and to y it's gonna be above overlay layer this is what i wanted to i don't need to off so you just add optical flare as always if 
you don't have the download link you can go into my typical server click on option click on clear all now you're gonna use the uh, strike and glow combine it for the glow i'm gonna turn down the scale as well as the brightness i don't need that much now we're gonna got we're gonna have something like this so we're gonna change the random mode from on black to on transparent so do this corner and duplicate optical flare layer click on the effect over here all right so for this one i think i'm gonna hide it i'm gonna drag it down under this name it's gonna be looking more realistic all right so we almost done we're gonna make the uh, legs things we're gonna make the body cool so to be honest me i'm not really good at making my body cool stuff so i'm gonna just making it very simple and add body cleaner into the solid layer that we just create click on designer so First of all, the emitter tab, you're gonna change from boy to boss. And the shape emitter, change the XYZ link it to individual. So the side X value is for the composition side. Here I'm using 1920 by 1080. With the emitter side, I don't really know what does this mean, but when I increase that, the gap between the article is gonna be like I'm gonna be bigger. I'm gonna set it at 500 is good. For the particle tab, this one you can change that into glow sphere. They're gonna change that into star. But here I'm gonna using the default things. On the preset, preset is you guys can using whatever you guys want. I'm using this one. This one look a little bit unnatural. So I'm gonna using the second one same thing with this so yeah that's really all about the body tuner and finally the add deep glow into that all right so we're gonna click on require for taste and we pretty much done every single thing so we're gonna click on adjustment here here for the look uh, i want to change the look a little bit i need the old look I don't want to have my like way too bright look like this it look a little bit weird to me all right so on the look uh, you can choose whatever that you want this one it's not that necessary to copy the same thing that i'm choosing here you have a lot of things i'm not using crime scene look at that this night much better and yeah so we need to have a little bit of uh, depth of fill. So under the character layer, this is this one. We're gonna create a new adjustment layer and put it, put the clip that we remove the background above this one, and then we can add PCC fast lamp blur into it. All right, so after add this one into the composition, I want to change the gamma up and the iris scale is only one or two. It's pretty good. And yeah, that's really all you're going to do in the tutorial. So the last thing that we need to do is we're going to make the tweaks thing. So before that, I want to cut some of the things. Not sewing. I mean, I want to cut it. One, see, also the up. The here, all the picture frames. Alright, so the last thing that you need to do is click on all of this pre combos. For that, just make a mark. This one. And pre the whole thing. 
All right, now we're gonna make the twist. For the twist, we're gonna add, of course, twist into that and nothing else. All right, for the twist, you're gonna make the amount about 70, the speed about 60, is good enough. You're gonna make the keyframes. This one, you're gonna make one more keyframe, set it at zero this one too so for this middle keyframes we're gonna go into enable enable the slide and on the operator control we're gonna I set the spread near slide spread value down to zero percent RBT splits about uh, I think I'm gonna keep that at 100 and last you just click on apply just follow my graph i need i don't need that i way to but so that i'm gonna use i'm not gonna using my the uh, value graph so yeah let's say this all right so if you can spend time to do it more but here is just a tutorial so this is done so yeah thank you so much everyone for watching this first tutorial that i'm using my voice hopefully that you guys gonna like, get familiar with my voice soon and yeah that's all bye bye